What's up? It's Johnny Mac here back. More tutorials. Today we're going to show you some vocal processing. We're going to add some delays and reverbs. And we're going to make this vocal we're currently working on with our mashup just pop out more in the mix. We're also going to make a final uh, mix down master and we're going to export this and get this out to you guys so you can all enjoy for yourself. Um, so this is how we're going to get started. The track we're working on is part of a series I started, uh, which is originally how to make a mashup in five minutes. We made the basic part of the mashup in five minutes with about nine seconds to spare. What we've decided to do is take the mashup up a notch and make it a much better production, more uh, 2012-esque. Uh, we added a reverse reverb right here. And we also added this little vocal riser here. You got the idea. Uh, so what we're going to do, we're going to make some more effects and some processing on the vocals uh, to make it pop out a little bit. Uh, what I like to use for my vocal effects is a plugin called Isotopes Nectar. You can accomplish the same things in Nectar with simple EQ, compressor, limiter, all that stuff. But I like the back-end algorithm in Isotope Nectar, and I'll explain why once I can find it. Uh, Isotope, here we go. F Waves plugins, Isotope Nectar. You want this to be uh, stereo. Once we have our Nectar loaded up, a couple things before we get started. As you can see our channel strip, we're going to put this at the beginning of the channel strip. So we can see the end result on our spectrum. As you know in Ableton Live, uh, it works from left to right as far as the, um, the audio effects and plugins. Um, so this we want to run first. In Nectar, there's lots of different genres that they have set up. Um, to have some presets ready to go. I've gone through most of these myself. What I found to be the best for vocals, especially for dance music, is if you go into the genre dance and electronic, the Abitha Summer is the best I like to work with, to start off with. Uh, let's go ahead and get out of this menu here. And we're going to add our own reverb and delay later on in this process. So um, we're going to take down the space, wet, dry a little bit, size is fine. Um, Space is basically a uh, back-end macro for Isotope Nectar's uh, reverb. So what we're going to do is go into our compressor here, or, or to our, our back-end, excuse me. Um, for saturation, we are going to use our tube saturation. We're going to reduce this a little bit. It's not too much saturation, just enough to keep through. Too much light in this window. Don't wake me up. Only just a little bit. We don't want to add too much, just enough to add a little bit of um, back in depth to the vocal. For the compressor, you'll notice that we're not going to compress too hard, but just enough. Too much light in this window. Anywhere in the minus one to minus five, as long as it's consistently working uh, around the zero to minus one on a regular basis, that's kind of where you want to be overall. Too much light in this window Don't wake me up Only coffee, no sugar I like that. Brown, minus 12 and a half is fine. The attack is fine. The release is fine. We like all these settings here. The RMS instead of peak is fine. Um, gain, we don't want to mess with this too much. It's fine as it is for the EQ. The purpose for the EQ in acapellas in general is to add space to the rest of the track. So other parts of the track, whether it's the basses, the mid-range basses, the high-end peaks, uh, the track can sneak through and still breathe with the acapellas main parts sneaking through. So we're going to go ahead and um, raise up this. We're around 400 range. This is a good low bass range. We're going to raise up a little bit and also um, our high end on the track. We're going to raise that a little bit. Also, there you go. We got a little bit of top end 
flare. That's fine right there. For the reverb, we don't want this on for the trap. We're going to use our own reverb in a second. For the limiter, you want to go ahead and uh, let's compare our compressor and limiter so we can see what we're doing and why we're doing it. As we're pressing down on the track, this, this is downward compression, is right here. What the limiter is doing, it's upward compressing just enough so it's not destroying the transients. Too much light in this window. Don't wake me up. You want little to no gain reduction. See, with the little minus one at the beginning there? Too much light in this window. Overall, you don't, don't want wake me up. Only much on here because you're going to, um, after we go through all this processing here, we're still going to master our track and limit it some more. The more you compress it, the more you squash it together, um, you're going to be doing more damage to your transients. You want to have as much of the transient sneak through as possible while still being manipulated by our back end here. So we have our sounds pretty much set up and ready to go. Um, now that we've raised our output volume, we're going to go ahead and see where we're at in the mix. Too much light in this window. We know that our max output on the original track is, is, is going to be minus six. We actually can lower this now. Back down to minus six. Too much light in this window. Don't wake me up. Only coffee, no sugar. Inside my cup. If I wake in your history. If you notice right away, it stands out a lot more than it did before. Let's go ahead and pick it up right here after this synth drop here. Now, it's not just volume that we've added. We've added clarity. We've added a little bit more space, a little bit more depth. Um, you can accomplish the same things in Nectar with a simple compressor um, and EQ. You can you know, have all the same things you have here in my strip. I just like the Isotope algorithm better than the um, back end in Ableton Live. These are all factory with Ableton. I like these better. So you can use these if you'd like. Um, I prefer Nectar for all my vocal processing. And also while we're here, we're going to go ahead and, um, as you can see, we didn't already, or we didn't add a reverb or a delay. Um, I don't mind the reverb for this. I normally use a fancy one. We're not going to get into that. Uh, in this tutorial, use the factory reverb, around four seconds delay time, short delay for our dub station on the reverb, something like this, 100% wet, dot an eighth note. Um, for our delay on the vocal, however, we're going to use our longer delay, which is a quarter note, 100% wet on the output. Always, these are my settings for um, high cut around 7K hertz, low cut around 230 hertz. Uh, let's add some of this delay around this much. And the reverb, same amount. See how this sounds now. Too much light in this window. Don't wake me up. Only coffee, no sugar. Inside my cup. If I wake in your head still, give me a kiss. Let's add a little bit more, just like that. I think we're pretty good on our vocal processing. Pops out more in the mix, it's clear, it's quality. And let's go ahead and now jump onto our master bus. We don't use this. Um, I use the L316 limiter. It's a waves limiter. Um, if you can afford it or you got a friend that can hook you up, jump on it. It's a lot in the waves bundle. You can do the same thing with a very simple limiter in Ableton. Uh, I like the algorithm that Waves wrote. Uh, it's, it's a much better limiter, and the compressor doesn't do too much damage to my transients when I mix it down. Um, it may uh, distort the track. Let's play this through, turn this on. You're going to see a boost in CPU up top.
See, already, just turning it on, see what it did. Turn it off, we're back down to four. A lot of CPU gets used in this. Let's see if we um, have something going on here. Too much light in this window. Don't wake me up. Before I go further as well, notice my master output so it doesn't blow up your speakers. I've got the master output at minus six. For your purposes, put this at zero. Same thing as accomplished. However, in this case, um, the master output is minus six. So here's how it sounds. Too much light in this window. Don't wake me up. Now just think, with all the processing we had on our vocal, we compressed it, we had a limiter on it, and now we're limiting and compressing our master. That's why it's important you don't over compress, just the right amount of compression. So when you push it out through your master bus on your limiter here, and master this track down, it's, it sounds the way it's supposed to sound. Let's push forward in the track and see how it sounds more. We have a finished product. Thank you for watching. Uh, the how to make some vocal processing pop out through your track in Ableton Live with Azotope Nectar. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, please. Follow me on Twitter at DJ Journey Mac. Like me on Facebook. All the links are in the description. Uh, again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. I'll have the finished mashup in the description as well. Bye.